Well, we're here in Ben McNally Books with the man himself, the owner of it, <laughs> Ben McNally, our gracious host. Uh, this is the place where we film subject matters. It's always great to come in here, Ben, and we just wanted to, to get a chance to speak to you, to ask you a little bit about the store, a little bit about your love of books, so that our viewers out there can, can get to know uh, this wonderful place and the wonderful man that runs it. So tell us a little bit first about how this place came to be and what, what brought you into the book business. Well, what brought me into the book business was a love of books. When I was a kid, uh, when I was a kid, I didn't have very many books. I, I, I grew up in somewhat straitened circumstances, so for me, books were really precious. And you know, my father, I remember my father reading the Jungle Book to me, for example, when I was very small. And uh, and so, if I had a book, like I would fall asleep with books and things like that. So, all the way through my life, books have been probably as important as anything else. And and uh, so, when I got out of university, I got into the book business seemed like a natural thing to do and uh, and it took me quite a long time before I actually opened my own bookstore um, and this is it 2007 we opened up so you've been here since 2007 uh, how did you find it what made you you know go to the heart of a major city downtown Toronto and and pop a bookstore down well you know uh, it's it's interesting times for the book business a lot of bookstores look the same and I didn't want to do that I wanted to have a bookstore that that uh, that had odd books in it and and uh, you know like not not weird books like how to tattoo your cat, <laughs> but books you know like interesting biographies and history books and right. and uh, and books that people would come in and go, I had no idea there was a book like that. Um, you know the thing about the thing about shopping on the internet, which is the big the big competition for bookstores. You can find what you're looking for on the internet, but you can't find what you're not looking for. Mm. And uh, and so, you know, for me to have a bookstore like that, this is the perfect spot for it to be. I'm surrounded by people who are uh, engaged and sophisticated and uh, employed. So, you know, price isn't an object for me. Subject matter isn't an object for me. And in fact, um, you know, if if I see a book in a catalog about a subject that I don't know anything about. I immediately buy it because I know somebody's going to come through the door and go, oh, that's great. Talk a little bit about the layout of the place. I mean, it, it, <clears> it's, a, it's a spectacular setting. I mean, our viewers see it in the, in the episodes that we film of Subject Matters. But, you know, what's, what's the feeling that you want your um, customers to have when they walk in here and are looking for a book? Well, you know, Sebastian, when we came in here, when we first looked at this space, it was empty. There, were, there was no floor here. There were no walls. There was not even a ceiling, um, and uh, and so we, you know, we knew that we weren't going to be able to do it ourselves. We interviewed three different designers. Only one of them used the word energy, and we hired her. She'd never done retail before, but but so you know, we wanted we wanted this place to be pretty special. This is downtown. You know, a lot of people don't have time to eat lunch. We were really worried a lot of our customers were going to get run over uh, <laughs> trying to trying to do their phone while they were crossing the street and things like that. So when you come in here, immediately you slow down and, and immediately you feel like this is a different space. This is a different energy. This is a different pace. Um, and so so it's really hard not to not to sort of relax a little bit and look at the books. Yeah, it's certainly a wonderful place to be able to, to, to walk into and so different from the commotion outside. Uh, I have to ask you this. Do you have a favorite book of all time? Well, you know, it sort of depends week to week. I think, I think, you know, if I have a favorite book of all time, it might be Lord Jim by Joseph Conrad. But I think probably my favorite book of all time is a, a book called The Master and Margarita by Mikhail Bulgakov. It's a Russian book. Um, and uh, those are both novels. And I think, I think really that's what, what really stands the test of time. Fiction, fiction can affect you in ways, you know, much more, much more meaningfully than nonfiction, and uh, and it tends to last a whole lot longer. And you can get those books, I'm sure, right here. You know it at Ben McNally Books. And thanks a lot. Hey, thanks, Sebastian. Ben McNally owns the store that we film Subject Matters in Ben McNally Books. Stop by for a visit if you're in downtown Toronto, 366 Bay Street, right downtown. <laughs>